Uh, what I'm saying is that he will ask more money for that. I'm not surprised your prices go up by about 8% on every project. Your inflation on prices is like 25% a year. <laughs> okay, so it's been a week since we were here last. Uh, the guys have been here just under that. Uh, let's go see how they're getting on. Marklin Road, this will have down five, all right? Marklin Road is a different area, because yeah, there's the front door, and this is a five door. That bedroom is this escaping one? that way, that's got a five door on. He, everyone <laughs> upstairs as well can just escape out there, so be careful, Dan, that's, something's dripping there. Just got me a couple of times. Perfect, that's long. Well, and then Paul can flew through that gap oh, there. No, all that. All the old doors are off, most of the kitchen is out. These pokey walls that sort of made up the mishmash of the utility room, the downstairs toilet, and what was effectively another shower, which didn't work, have all been ripped out. I think it's opened up the space massively. And because of that, I think it's probably best to go back to the original plan, which was to move the kitchen into this space. We said that we were gonna leave it, I think last week in the, uh, where the current kitchen is. But I think if we can make the units work in terms of the numbers that we need for the minimum for a five bed HMO, um, with the dishwasher, with the washing machine, with the fridge freezer, then I think it's best to move the kitchen and that gives us a much bigger communal living area where we put the sofas. And you can see, yeah, the guys ripped out all the old toilet. I'm sure this was done within a few days. All we can do is we'll get the electrician to move the uh, fuse box and the meter up so we can hide it within a kitchen cupboard and then what is the gas meter that'll be hidden by a base corner unit and then we'll have our entrance just there for bedroom five 